Hi, I'm Tessa Hillen, and I'm an energy transition analyst at Stenin, that's the Dutch DSO. Welcome to this power to gas project in Rosenberg. We started this project in 2017 and the goal of the project was to actually show that hydrogen works. So you can do a lot on paper, but we want to actually put it into practice. So what we do here is um, we have electrolysis with uh, solar panels on the roof and green electricity. We, make, uh, we produce hydrogen and the hydrogen is used for producing heat in the building next to the facility. The green hydrogen we produce here uh, is actually distributed through a very average natural gas pipeline. Uh, and then through the pipeline it goes to the apartment building. And this was actually the first time that we used a natural gas pipeline. It needs a couple of adjustments, but uh, in general it can be reused for hydrogen. The next step in scaling up hydrogen would be converting the first village in 2025. One of the challenges we still face with uh, deploying hydrogen on larger scale is uh, what smell hydrogen should have. Uh, we have a smell for natural gas because natural gas is scentless and hydrogen is also scentless so we want to add a smell so that we can detect leaks. And so we're doing a project here to find what smell hydrogen could be. So one of the reasons we're looking into a new odorant is because the current odorant has sulfur in it. And sulfur is actually yeah, really damaging to fuel cells, hydrogen fuel cells. So if we want to have fuel cells connected to the gas grid in the future, we uh, want to have a sulfur-free uh, sulfur hydrogen. And we know that sulfur actually sticks within the pipe, um, all the pipelines we use in the, in the natural gas grid. So that's actually a project we also do here, to do research on old pipelines and to see how much sulfur is actually in it and how we can get rid of it. So the fun part is that we're not the only ones doing this research, but we're actually teaming up together with ShareDF, that's the largest French DSO, and we're working together on this project. The hydrogen boilers only get fired if there's a heat demand. So we wanted to make it modular so yeah, we can more easily manage the system, basically. There's no hydrogen storage in this facility, so we, um, yeah, we actually feed in hydrogen uh, immediately into the pipeline. So this is the installation where we produced synthetic methane. It was in the first phase of the project where we converted hydrogen into synthetic methane as an alternative from, for fossil natural gas. And in the second phase, we used hydrogen directly to uh, heat the building. For the residents themselves, actually nothing changes very much. They get uh, a bit of their heating demand for free for us as a compensation um, because that is heated by hydrogen. And what changes maybe is that the project has lots of exposure, so there are a lot of visitors coming here from the whole world. So that this project is coming to an end doesn't mean that we have nothing left to do. There's still loads of other projects that we're doing, also together with other DSOs, to find out what is exactly needed to be prepared for a larger scale development of hydrogen.